I think I have just come up with one of my new favourite ways for turning my mid-journey clip art into SVGs using Kittle. So let me go ahead and show you exactly what I've been doing. Now, if you create any type of clip art, graphics, or anything like that within Midjourney or any AI software that needs to be turned into SVGs, then stick around and watch this video because I've got a new way to share with you using Kittle. Now, there's loads of different ways that you can actually use this. One of my other favorite ways is just by using Vectorizer.ai because it is completely free. But now, I have been playing around with Kittle, turning my mid-journey graphics into SVGs because it's actually extremely easy to do this. Now, quick side note about Kittle. I currently have a pro version just here, as we can see. Now, because I have the pro version, I actually get unlimited vector exports. So again, this is one of the reasons why I have personally been playing around with this. So, if you have a pro Kittle account, then you can go ahead and do this as well. Now, if you do want to try out a Kittle Pro account, then there will be a link down in the description below. Disclaimer, it is an affiliate link, so if you do decide to purchase, I will make a small commission at no extra cost to you. Now, one cool thing that they're doing at the minute is this unlimited AI until the 31st of December. Now, usually, to use Kittle AI features, you need to use credits. On the free account, you get 15 credits. On the pro account, you get 100. But currently, because they're being so awesome, we get unlimited access to the AI until the 31st of December on the pro account, but also the free. Now, with that being said, let me go ahead and share with you what I've been doing to turn my mid-journey clip art into SVGs here in Kittle. So let's delete this because I already have some clip art which I created in Midjourney, which I've already uploaded here in Kittle. Now, one thing to note as well, this works extremely well with flat images. So that's images with no gradient. Now, images like this, we are going to go through this as well in a second, but images like this, because they're not flat and they kind of have gradients in them, don't work as well as a simple flat colored image like these. So let's click on these and let's crop this. So to crop, you just double click on your image, then you can crop in the sides like so to your selected image. Now let's just do this. Now once that is done, we can click exit crop mode. Now what we're going to do is just make this bigger as well, like so, just so it fits the page a bit more. Then we're going to use the AI background remover. This is just going to remove the background from the outside, like that. And then we're going to use this, the image vectorizer, which is pretty cool. So now if we click on here, we get to choose how many colors there are. So with a quick count of this, there's one, two, three, four, four or five. So let's go with five. Let's click vectorize image. And within a matter of seconds, there we go. This is now completely vectorized. Now, one thing I like about this is now, if we look up here, it's pulled all the colors through and we can actually go through and change those colors. So this black isn't that black. So we might want to change that. There we go, like that. And now that's changed. We can change the color of all of these as well. Again, this is why it works better with flat colors. But as we can see, we can completely customize all of the colors within our images. Now let's go on to this blue. Let's make that a little bit lighter as well. Let's click enter and now that's done. Now to export these, we're going to export it as the finished SVG. So if we come up to download, we want the remove background on and then we just download as SVG. Now, if we come over to Canva, now I do actually have a Kittle account and a Canva account. I do prefer Canva over Kittle just because the amount of storage that I get here in Canva. 
So if we take a quick look at the Kittle pricing on the Pro, we can see that we get 10 gigabytes of upload space. Now on Canva Pro, we actually get one terabyte. So that's quite a bit of difference. But again, I tend to design most of my stuff in Canva, but I do also use Kittle as well. But once we've created our SVGs or converted our images into SVGs here in Kittle, I can then just take this downloaded image, drag that here into Canva into a specific folder. So you could have a folder just for all your clip art, different types of clip art and all of that. But now I have it here in Canva. If we click on here, we can now enlarge this infinitely because now that this is an SVG, it's infinitely scalable. But if we look up here, we also now have the options to change the colors to whatever we want on this SVG here in Kittle. Now, this is only going to work if you have flat images like this with no gradients. But nonetheless, this is what I've been doing and I think it's pretty cool. Now, if we come back over to the editor, let's delete that. Let's do a different image just here. Let's take this one. Let's make this bigger and crop one of these out. So let's go with this blue one just here, like so. Let's just make that bigger as well. Let's remove that background. Then we're going to go on to the image vectorizer. We're going to choose the colors. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go with seven. So we'll change that to seven, click vectorize image, give that a few seconds, and now that's been vectorized. And again, we can come in and change the colors on this image. So we might not want the purple. We could do that to a darker purple. We could do it lighter or any color that we like. Let's just keep it on there as an example. Now, if we go to download, remove background, SVG, we can now take that image, bring it over to Canva and plug it in here. Now, if you were to create a bunch of clip art that you were going to sell online somewhere, you can still store them all here within Canva because if you create your own specific folder, upload them all into there, you can then come into that folder, click on the three dots, come to download, and then it's going to download your image. So again, this is just another reason why I do love Canva Pro and I store a lot of my things here in Canva. But now we have this, we can click on there, we can get rid of this one. As we can see, if we click on this one, we don't actually have the option to change the color. So it doesn't quite work all of the time, but nonetheless, I'm still really liking this method of turning mid-journey clip art into SVGs. Now let's go ahead and do this one last time on this image just here, because there's more kind of gradients in this. So I want to show you what it's going to turn out like. Now we're going to click on background remover, it's going to do its thing. Then we're going to click on vectorize image. Now there's quite a few different colors in here. So let's just go with 10, click on vectorize image, give that a few seconds and you're going to see it kind of change in picture. Because again, this isn't a flat image. There we go. I think you just saw that. But because these aren't quite flat colors and there's kind of gradients, it doesn't do as good a job. But nonetheless, it still turns out pretty good. Now, if we make that a little bit bigger, we still have all of the different colors up here that we can change as well. Now, once you're happy, we come to download, remove background, SVG. Then we can bring it over to Canva, take that, plug that in there, and we can take a look. So now if we take a look at this, this is also infinitely scalable because it's an SVG and you won't get any blurriness, as you can see. But nonetheless, that's what I've been playing around with, and it's slowly becoming one of my new favorite ways to vectorize my mid-journey clip art. Now, just remember that you do actually need a pro account. So if you already have a pro account, go ahead and play with that and see what you think, because we do get unlimited vector exports. And if you do want to try out Kittle Pro, then there will be a link down in the description below. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like as it really helps out the channel. And if you want to watch more of my Kittle content, then click right here and watch this playlist.